All right. Um, everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is King Yatsuki, and today, I'm sorry for not being online for two days, so I'm ma making three what ifs today. This is the first out of the three. What if Naruto was a Cybertronian slash human hybrid? Basically, our story begins around the time of Kaguya vs. Hagoromo and Hamura's battle, as we go to the Transformer universe, basically. As, well, the Transformers, or the Cybertronians, are harvesting the Earth, Earth's life into metals to create more Transformers, basically. As... One of them, um, as basically one of them, the strongest and most powerful, gets an idea. What if humans, basically, they keep two humans alive so they could do the whole thing over again with the repopulation, then harvesting, then repopulation, then harvesting? You understand. As basically, the Transformers would get an idea. And, well, the Transformer would get an idea. What would human... What would happen if human DNA was to merge with Cybertronian DNA? As he would kill the last human and take a humanoid form. As... Well, we skip... About nine months later, the last human female is pregnant. Pregnant and giving birth. As... The Cybertronians had figured out what was happening as they were about to kill the last human female. However, the Transformer, who I'm not going to be telling you the name of all, I'm just going to say is the most powerful out of all of them. Basically, he used his own spark, or his own life force, to create an interdimensional rift, which teleported the... Well, which basically teleported or did the human female to Earth, or the Naruto universe, basically. As she sees, well, a giant, giant thing of Earth just floating upwards, creating the moon. And a giant, basically, moon being formed and just going up into the sky. As Hagoromo and Hamura spot the human, as they are, well, asking, how are you even alive? As the human would, as the woman would then say, that she is, that she is quite literally the last survivor from planet Earth, as they would say, Hmm. Well, that shouldn't be possible. As they would, as she would then explain, from a different Earth. As they would say, what happened to this Earth? As basically, she would say, harvested. As they were confused and puzzled and said, harvested. By what? Atsuki? I should say, what are Atsuki and no? Harvested by Cybertronians. As the Hagoromo and Hamura would just be puzzled, actually be puzzled as they then say, what in the universe is Cybertronians? And she would explain, they are giant humanoid-like creatures that are extremely powerful. And basically they harvest life. I'm ba basically they harvest anything on an entire planet to create more of themselves. As they do not usually need the rep reproduction. However, I should then explain... That she was pregnant with a half Cybertronian, half human child. 
as she would say that his father, that the boy's father, I'm that the Transformer she made, that the Cybertronian she made it with, was one of the most powerful to ever exist. As they would then say, really, what was his name? As she would just say, he never told me, but I do know this, he's just, he can shapeshift, and he has, well, he has about the strength of 12 Transformers, and of 13 Transformers. If you know anything about Transformer lore, you'll probably get a hint from that. As basically, he, she would then say, she would basically then begin giving birth, as how Roman Hamura would be absolutely confused, but try to help her, her give birth. As they would, as just as she was about to give birth, however, Ishiki noted, it basically, on the Atasuki world, Ishiki noticed something. Or, not Ishiki. A tr the Cybertronians noticed something, as they were basically in an entirely different, different quadrant or galaxy. As they would sense the power radi- and basically, they would sense enormous godlike power coming from on the planet Earth, as they would send down, well, <laughs> down, as they would send down a Quintesson, or they would send down one of the gods of Transformers, Quintessa, as she would see, um, as they had never been anywhere in this galaxy before, as she would see the child, I mean, she would see the woman giving birth. As she, as when the woman was done giving birth, Quintessa would then see, well, basically imagine this, but like a baby. Okay? As Quintessa, confused, would think, is that a... S as she would basically feel Cybertronian energy coming from it. As she would think, is that a Cybertronian? What in the name, name of the, what in the name of Primus is this? As she would, and as Quintessa basically would go into her human form, which we see at like, bef after the credits of Transformers, the last night. As she would be in this human form, as she would basically run up and t take the baby. As she would then turn into her quintessent form and basically, well, teleport away. And she'd basically teleport away. Seeing how there was not really much to harvest from the earth, as, well, it was just surviving a Natsuki attack. As Cybertronians and Natsuki are not good friends. I mean, they tolerate each other, but, I mean, the two races tolerate each other, but if there is, like, any beef at all, it will turn to like World War Three. <laughs> or I guess you could say U Universal War or War Three <laughs> and Universal War One. <laughs> As basically The Antasuki would notice a Quintesson leaving the Earth as they would be puzzled con and confused and try to see why they were in their territory. As they would s 
basically see the half-human, half-Cybertronian signature coming from the Earth. As they were confused, and basically think, is that a half-human Cybertronian she's carrying? It, whatever it is, it has godlike power. Hmm. We must, we must find it and, and keep it, as it will make us stronger. This is what Shiki, of course, was thinking at this very moment. As, well, she would, I mean, as basically, the Quint, Quintessa would go all the way to Cybertron with the baby. As, well, a Transformer known as Alpha Trion, would basically, two Transformers, Orion Pax and Alpha Trion, if you know anything about Transformers lore, you probably know who these two are, would see her. As Orion Pax basically being like a eh, senator, would say, Lady Quintessa, it, what is this being? Is it human? Aren't those from that, from the Atsuki realm? I'm from the Atsuki territory. As she would say, I have no clue what it is. I'm. It appears to be Cybertronian. As they would, I mean, as Alpha Trion would then say, "What? How is that even possible?" As she would then say what she overheard the humans speaking to, well, the um, how Agaromo and Hamara. As she would say, it's from a alternate universe, it appears. One where we have harvested the the planet Earth and the Atsuki are non-existent. However, someone basically broke the rules. As a Transformer, which no name or origin, basically a unknown Transformer, which the human did not know the name of, would reproduce normally with her. I have no idea what we, that Transformer was possibly thinking. As, well. She would then say, so it appears that this child is from another universe. But in some perspective, he is our property. And he is our species. As they would then think, hmm, we, well, whatever he is, he's very powerful. We must train him, raise him, have him become a, well, Cybertronian, pretty much. As they would think, okay, but we would need a strong mentor. Who, 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 who? As the strongest Transformer would, basically they would call for the strongest Transformer. Or the, th or the greatest of the great, the almightiest of the almighty, Dragonstorm. As Dragonstorm would look at, the, would basically be informed of what? of what this baby was and how it came to this universe. As he would then think, hmm, I guess I could train it and raise it. But it, but that is at least until the age of, well, definement. When we see what it, what forms it takes. 
uh, understood as they would train basically Naruto would grow up as a sort of basically he'd be treated as a prince and around 75 I mean, around 25% of tr Cybertron he'd be treated as a prince of course, the ones that would treat him as a prince were the highest of higher ups. As we, as anything lower than that, the seventy-five percent would train. Would basically, as good. Now, as basically they would, as basically to the 75% of Cybertron, and to the others, So, to the 75% of Cybertron, or the other 75%, they would treat Naruto as a god, pretty much. As, well, he would be viewed as one of the strongest and most as he'd be one of the strongest warriors to possibly ever exist. As, basically, this has been about um, eight years of his life. He's spent eight years of his life as a basic god or prince. Oh, sorry. Hold on. For one. As, basically, Naruto has been raised to the age of, well, basically, Naruto has been raised to the age of eight. And to the age of eight. As, well, He is called in by his, I guess you could say, master or teacher, basically. As, he, well, pretty much Naruto looks like this. As he would, as his teacher would then ask him, you would then say, you are about of age, try to transform. As Naruto would then begin to glow, as horns would begin to shape, ape, and armor would begin to form. As he would then turn into this. Pretty much. As they would think, holy Jeez. And as you'd think, it's a dragonoid. He's a dragonoid. As you'd then say, try doing it one last time. And try doing a third transformation. As Naruto would then turn into this. As Dragon Swarm would then think, yes, 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 yes. My student is a dragon. My student's a dragon, my student's a dragon, my student's a dragon. As, well, then the entire building would begin to shake. As Naruto would go into his humanoid form, as he would think, huh? As pretty much the entire building was under attack. Now, if you're probably thinking by what? Well, as I said, this is an alternate universe with some altercations. Altercations being, I'm, basically, the attack or the war is a bit late, as Naruto came just before the war, eight years before. As pretty much he's at the age of eight, as the Great War begins, Decepticons versus Autobots. Pretty much. As 
it is complete and utter chaos. As Dragon Storm is thinking, hmm, ah, uh, gotta get him to safety, gotta get my people to safety, safety, safety. As he would then say, to the escape pods. As he would pretty much grab a space pod that looks like this. And he'd pretty much bring Naruto to a space pod. As so he'd say, get in it and go to... Get in it. I'll set the coordinates for a planet we found you at. Um, for a planet that should be suitable for you. As they would... As he would then think... Think... Set coordinates for planet... Earth, as, well, basically, Naruto's, I mean, basically, Naruto's pod, I mean, escape, now, Naruto's escape pod, of course, would not be the only one, as there'd be a couple of, like, a hundred or thousand others, all going to random planets, and, of course, the Autobots and Decepticons were heading toward Earth. However, well, something unexpected would happen. As, well, all the other Transformers I'm kind of... Basically, a black hole would open up as every as all the Autobots and Decepticons would be basically de I'm basically in that black hole and sent to Earth. However, this black hole would bring them to Naruto's original universe, which, as I stated, is kind of at its re beginning stages. As, basically, humans are now cavemen. I and, mean, basically, humans have evolved completely differently. As humans, basically, they're sent to the freaking Dragon Ball universe. So, yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> That's basically, Naruto's escape pod... Him basically being a god to the other Transformers. His escape pod would, of course, be the best out of all of them. As Decepticons and Autobots would even fight over him. As they would basically want him to join their sides. As Alpha Trion would try to teach the boy. And would basically, Alpha Trion would be the... War Master teaching Naruto how to be merciless, a cold blooded, vicious killer. As. well. Basically, as Orion Pax would be sent hurling towards the Earth. And would. Orion Pax, sorry, would basically be his studies teacher, teaching him how to be kind and a good leader. As Naruto would think, and would basically, his escape pod, being the best out of all of them, would kind of have an AI, which just went so fast it tore through the black hole. As it basically shattered the black hole. As Naruto would be hurling towards the Earth. The Naruto Universe Earth. As basically Naruto would sort of crash land. As this would be the middle of the night. I'm mean, basically night. Night time as. Well. Pretty much. 
the Hokage would be Jiraiya, seeing as, well, Naruto wasn't there to get Sanade to come to the village. As Jiraiya would be Hokage. I'm fifth Hokage, pretty much. As Menma, yes, they, Kushina and Minato would have a son named Menma. As basically, it's night time. As Naruto's escape pod is hurling towards the earth, as it crashes like... 30 feet outside the gates of Konoha. As... Well... The... Hokage's... I mean, basically Jiraiya sends his Anbu to go see what the cra- What the Dickens that noise was, as it was basically also causing an earthquake. As they would go and see this... As I would think, it's a sort of casket, sarcophagus, as Naruto would walk up towards the, as basically, Jiraiya would be alerted and he would go directly to the pod, or the mysterious object as they called it. The object, the mysterious casket, or coffin. As Jiraiya would then think, what in the dickens is this? As, basically, we go to a sort of mindscape. As, and basically we go to, I guess you could say, Shinobi Heaven. As, pretty much Hagoromo and Hamura are there. As Hagoromo sees this object, and he's like, Hmm, what is it? Strange. As he look inside, and he, as he would basically, in a sort of non, in a sort of non-corporeal but spiritual body, go to the cat go to the object and s try to see what it was as he would look inside and see a child this of course being naruto as he would then think oh it's that child all those years ago and it's that child all those years ago As, no, I take it back. Naruto was kind of trapped in a sort of time freeze, as the other Transformers would be hurled towards Earth about eight years afterwards. As Hagoromo and Hamura, of course, would destroy all of them, because they knew everything about the Cybertronians from what the woman told them. As they wouldn't care good or bad, if one of them came, that would mean more would come. As they would destroy everything, and no, as they would destroy them all, and Naruto would kind of be the last Cybertronian. Aside from. Well, I'm not going to spoil that. As pretty much. Basically, they would then see. Naruto in a looking like an eight year old, as they would think it's that child or that being the one that the woman birthed. Remember the woman who told us about the Cybertronians and what they did? As basically, sorry, basically, Hagoromo and Hamura would walk over, and would basically, in their non-corporeal forms, walk over to the pod. As, well, it was basically, as basically, Jiraiya would think, 
it appears to be some sort of dead thing, as he would, as he would pretty much, it appears to be some sort of relic, as they would pretty much ignore it, as eventually followers would amass around the object, and people would gather their attention at the object. This, of course, would... Basically, they would think of this object as some sort of thing from the heavens, or object of God. As they would basically begin f bowing to the object. As a roaching as this would eventually get the attention of one of the legendary Sanin, one or of the legendary Sanin, a basically a freaking awesome villain, and probably the first Naruto villain, and like actually good Naruto villain, Orochimaru. As Orochimaru would want to see if this thing could be used for, well, pretty much he wanted to see if it could be used for a weapon or if it was some sort of object of power. As he would go and see a sort of symbol in the, you know, this blue part right here, pretty much he'd see a symbol right here. As he would put his hand there, there and use chakra on it. Now this foreign source of power, or chakra, basically would interact with the Cybertronian metals. As, well, it would be a power source, of, and it would be life energy, as pretty much the sarcophagus or pod would begin to open as the, as four corners of it would extend out as the lid would lift up. As Orochimaru would just think it appears to be some sort of being. Maybe its body would be useful. As he would try to bite it. As he would then feel like he just bit some sort of synthetic metal. Which, yeah, that's pretty much what Naruto's skin is made of. Synthetic metal. As... Basically, Rochimaru would see this. With a sword on his back. This, of course, being this sword. Pretty much, except imagine it glowing like where... The you see the crack going down the um, blade. Basically, imagine that oozing like a sort of orange lava. Okay. As... Orochimaru would think it's probably a dead being. But still, this body could have untapped potential. As the eyes would then open. As Orochimaru would see the black and, and the black pits that were the eyes with the red dots. And with the red circles in it being his pupils. As Naruto's mouth would open as he would then speak Cybertronian. This of course would sound like or some sort of mix between Japanese, English, Russian and Chinese is an any and Sumer and Sumeranian or is it Sumarian? Yet yeah, Sumarian. As basically, Orochimaru would think, "What in the?" As pretty much, let me just translate for Naruto. 
as Naruto would say, hey, what planet are we on? What planet am I on? Huh? And who are you? What's your name? As he, as Ruchimaru, to him would basically be speaking babble or baby talk, as he'd be just be thinking, huh? As Naruto would grab and would basically grab his sword off his back as it would begin to glow. As he would then slash at Orochimaru, as Orochimaru would dodge the slash, as he would then look behind him and see that where he was just standing was scorched with lava and fire. As Naruto would then get angry, as he would keep slashing as Orochimaru would keep dodging, until eventually Orochimaru was surrounded by nothing but lava, as Naruto would smile and slash one last time. However, Orochimaru would dodge this, as Naruto would basically jump onto a tree, Rio or something. As Naruto would be angry, as his blade would then stop glowing orange, as it would glow black, like a sort of black, dark, shadowy aura would glow around him. As Naruto would then say one word which Uchiha should know. No, it's not Susano. No, it is not. However, he would then say Amaterasu, or basically he would say a trans, a Cybertronian word for Amaterasu, as he would then do about ten to thirteen slashes all at once, as black fire and black lava would just be coming from the blade, as Orochimaru would be thinking, "Oh crap." As he would dodge all the slashes, as Naruto, as he would dodge most of the slashes, as one would hit his legs. As Orochimaru's legs were permanently covered in black lava. As Orochimaru would run away to basically get a body, and to basically get another body. As Naruto would think, why did he speak a weird language? Where am I even? As Naruto would see grass, trees, night, the night sky, he would then go to his pod, as it would say, hey, as he would then say, computer destination, as the he sort of AI would then say, We, you have landed. You appear to have landed on planet Earth. In the Otsutsuki region. As he would then think, What's an Otsutsuki? Eh, probably nothing much. As Naruto would be walking, towards the nearest village or place to stay. As his computer would then say, the nearest place to stay is the Hidden Leaf Village, or Konohagakure. As Naruto would then basically be walking towards um, Konohagakure, as he would then say, as he would then basically just be standing, as Naruto, I, I mean, as basically, guards would appear out of nowhere. These, of course, would be Ombu. As basically, every single person would just be like, "Who are you?" As he would then basically, Naruto, being a bit confused on what language they were speaking, would have grabbed something from his um, pod, which was a sort of watch. 
as he would speak into it and say, AI, what language is this? As the AI would then say, Japanese. I'm pretty sure that's the language they speak in Naruto. As basically, Naruto would then say, Huh. Translate my speak to Japanese. And, hmm. As he would then basically read up on Japanese in his sort of godly mindscape, as he would have read the whole, and as he would basically study the whole history of Japanese, he's all the way. As he would then speak perfect Japanese and say, Excuse me, but my name is Naruto. Um, where am I? I basically, he would say, who are you all? As Jiraiya would say, Naruto, huh? Then where did you come from? What village are you from? As Naruto would then say, village? No, 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 I'm not from a village. I am from, as... A different place, as Naruto would point to the sky. As he would say, My home is up there. Or at least it was my home before the war. As the humans would pretty much just think, Home? War? What? As Naruto would then... <sighs> basically, walk in. As they would see the giant sword on his back, as they would say, um... What is that sword, and where exactly are you from? What do you mean your home is... Another planet. And what do you mean another? A war. As Naruto would ex then say, I am from a planet called Cybertron. In the Cybertronian region, I guess you could say. As this is the Atsuki region. Planet Earth, I believe. As he would then say, A great war happened once. On my home. Basically, a explosion happened. I mean, basically, a war would happen. As me and the other survivors would go here. And would basically, we would scurry off to hundreds of thousands of different planets. As it appears that my master had sent me here. As they would then say... You're bluffing, kid. What's your village and what's your chakra? And nature's and what's your clan name? As Naruto would then say, clan, chakra, village. I do not know what any of those things are. As Naruto would then transform into his humanoid but still transformer state. As he would then say, hey, my name is Naruto. I am from planet Cybertron. I am pretty much treated as a god there. My teachers are Ultra and are, are Orion Pax and Ultra and Ultra. I forget. Got the darn name. As he would then say, So, may I stay in this village? As he would go into his humanoid state. As they would say, Uh, 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 sure. As Naruto would walk in. As they would say, Why do you carry this sword? As he would say, It's my weapon. 
if you don't like it, as then Naruto, as the sword would then glow black and orange, as it would then sink into Naruto's back, appearing as a symbol or tattoo. As he would then say, Hey, it can be like that. As Naruto would walk into Konoha, as he would be met by Kakashi. As they would then say, Kakashi, this is one of your new students. Um, so you will have a team of four. As Naruto would think, team. As they would then explain the whole shinobi world to him. As Naruto would then say, ah. As they would basically give Naruto a house, as he would think it's a lot smaller than, well, Cybertron's houses, but it should do. But it should do. As Naruto would begin to lit, as Naruto would begin to prepare for bed. As he would tuck in and think. In the morning, there's so many... Huh. In the, I guess they call it morning. There's a lot of new things for me to try, and see, and do on this strange planet. Mr. Naruto would then say, Oh, I wish you could be here, your master, Dragonstorm. As he would then, well, Naruto would awaken in the morning as he would go to the place he was told to go. As they would do the Tazuna mission, and as they would basically be about to do a weak D rank mission, as Sasuke being the Uchiha that he is, would want to do a higher or tougher mission. As they would then say, okay, Tazuna, as, as basically Jiraiya would say, Tazuna, as, well, now, Haruzen is not dead. Okay, he's just retired. Okay. Pretty much. As Naruto would basically sit and would basically just think, ah, Who's this Tazuna guy? As Tazuna would walk in and insult everyone. As he would call... Sasuke, some sort of weird goth. Some sort of weird, edgy goth kid. As he would then call Sakurai a useless fangirl. As Tazuna would then call Menma a demon brat. I mean, a weird demon. A arrogant demon. As... He would then see Naruto as he would just think, Is this kid a god? And he would basically say, Is this kid a god? As Naruto would then say, I guess where I'm from, I could be called a god. As... Tazuna would then not mock Naruto as he would be afraid. As they would then, and as they would be told, in the morning they're going on their first C rank mission. As they were all excited, especially Naruto, as he wanted to see what type of skills humans possessed. 
as he would go into his bed and prepare for sleep, as someone would be watching. This someone, of course, would be Kaguya. Basically, she'd be watching from the moon. And she would think, well, isn't he strange? <laughs> he appears to be a full-on new being. I want him, as she would say. I should say, I don't care if he is half Cybertronian, which are the rivals of the Atsuki clan. I want him to be my boyfriend. No, more than that. <laughs>